Chloe, thanks for sitting down with me today. I appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me, Sean. Chloe, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where you go to school? Where'd you grow up? I was born in China as a foreign student. I came to Iowa State as a freshman undergrad. I have double major in genetics and agronomy. Okay. And so when, when did you come to Iowa State? Uh, three years ago? Three years ago, three yes. Years ago. Right. Okay. Why Iowa? Well, I guess I picked my major first, then I go through the list what's the best college to go for agriculture and then for Iowa State. Iowa State. Nice. <laughs> good call, good call. Yes. Chloe's part of the Campus Connection program. You're assigned uh, a mentor. Can you tell me a little bit about your mentor? Well, my mentor is Jeff Noel. He's part of the Husker Genetics, which is under University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Nice. And then, so how was it connecting with Jeff? He's absolutely great nice. he um, he showed me around and um, often checked on me what are you doing how's things going if you want to join me for lunch um, meetings or dinner you're more than welcome to so I'm feeling I'm not alone made you feel welcome right nice that's a good thing that's a good thing because I know from the folks that I've talked to here that you all of the students that are part of the campus connection were, were very much welcomed in to, uh, to participate and learn as well, and bring ideas, for sure. So if we kind of, one area that you have uh, expanded your knowledge on, what, what would you say the one area that you've expanded your knowledge on since you've been here at the ASTA meeting? Um, I guess it's not necessarily what specific area, but I really expand my networking. Mm. I'm building my net. You, you've shaken a lot of hands. Yes, a lot of names. A lot of names, no doubt. A lot of business cards. Right, right. Excellent. So if, if we ask you to look into your crystal ball, what's Chloe doing in five years? Mm, I guess I'll have a master's degree. With that, I'll go for um, a breeding job somewhere in the Midwest, I believe. What crop are you most interested in from a breeding perspective? Well, for now, is core most likely right but um yesterday with uh hm close yeah. is that how you pronounce mm -hmm. that um they have veggie seeds and other crops if i can get a chance to get hold with them and make a tour that'd be wonderful what things come into your decision making process when you're deciding you've decided you wanted agriculture you've decided you want to plant breeding and then you've got to decide what to, what crops you're going to get involved in. What what things will come into play as you decide where you want to end up? Well, first of all, I I'm not a business person. I I love science. Also, like for example, if you learn science, straight science like chemistry, that's not me either. Right. But I love food. I adore them. Right. So the the best combination, I guess, is agriculture. Right, and, and so how did you end up in plant breeding then? Um, I guess among all the diversities of such as ag agriculture business, ag communication, so um, I guess plant breeding fits the best. Fits into those pieces, right? Right. Um, what do you got planned for the summer? Summer, I have an internship with DuPont Pioneer with a seed science group, so okay. there it is. Awesome. So you're heading in the right direction. Right. Yeah, excellent. So what would you tell your peers about the Campus Connection program? Such as you have wonderful mentor for sure. I guess everybody has. And um, you will have many, many chances to get hold with these senior, um, uh, such as directors or the people that are in charge of the company. You can connect with them. Right. So that's a infinite, networking. infinite, um, uh, potential right yeah uh, right. you can never know too many people can you mm. <laughs> there's no such thing there's no such thing what what about to the program coordinator can you tell me a little bit about her how, how has she been helpful to you Bethany 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 is great and she's um, she's always with us and um, get us organized so that we won't be at some point wandering around what we're doing and she gave us great directions uh, in terms of what to ask and what to do in different situations. So that was great. Perfect. 
um, part of our learning is is how to integrate into a group, isn't it? And I think she's fantastic at helping you. Right, get right. A great team leader. Mm -hmm. um, if we, if, if you, there's obviously sponsors that are involved in helping to make this a financial reality. Right. What would you say to your sponsors right now? I will say I thank them first of all, and second of all, I would um, keep in touch with them and keep everybody updated and see where things are going. Uh, why is this trip worth five days? It's about five days of your time, right? By the time you travel, you attend, it's five days. Why is this event worth five days of your time? Because with this five days, I can probably plan my whole life. That's, that's definitely worth it. <laughs> five day investment for your whole life. That's right. a good investment. <laughs> well said, Chloe. Well said. Chloe, our world is divided into skills and attitudes. If, if you have to pick the, the biggest advantage you have, is it on a skill or is it on an attitude? I guess I'm more on the attitude side. What makes your attitude so good? Because I have a goal set for this trip. I know what I'm doing, why I'm at here, and I don't lose it. And then just for that, I'm working my way through so this goal here is to networking instead of vacation or entertainment. Chloe, thanks very much for sitting down with me. Well, thanks, John.